Hi everyone, today I'm delighted to bring together Dr. Robbie Melton from Tennessee State University with Dr. Keisha King from T-Mobile to bring together a subject we all care about very greatly and that's how to bring together cutting edge robotics with 5G technology and the difference that can make for the future of learning, making it more immersive, inclusive and industry ready. And we're really drilling into an amazing collaboration between the two, redefining I think what's possible for the future of higher education today. Ladies, it's great to have you here. Let's bring that conversation to life. Dr. King, lovely to see you again. Great to see you too, Sally. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Keisha. And again, Dr. Mountain or Robbie, lovely to meet you for the first time today. Hey, good morning, everyone. Welcome. Oh, fantastic. And I'd love straight away to bring to life the amazing work that's happening here. Uh, Robbie, can you tell us more really about the Smart Global Tech Innovation Centre? You're using some incredible technology, including 5G um, technology as part of this. But the difference this is making to students, the advent of Blue, your AI powered robotic dog. I think it's amazing things here that's bringing learning to life. Tell us more about that. I'd love to hear more. This is the smart center where we are able to come into a world of technology and possibilities. We have to transform education. So the minute you step off the elevator, we wanted that wow factor. We wanted them to go into technology, immerse them into all of these devices, but more so we want them to innovate. We want them to think, what if? And because of our partnership and the connectivity, we can do that worldwide. We can bring students in from all over as well as beam out. And here we're sitting right now with Blue, who is also powered by connectivity. And I know, Keisha, you've been there obviously many times. You've seen this coming to life, the power of technology and mentoring, all these different aspects. Tell us more about that and the role of T-Mobile as part of that. Yeah, it's pretty amazing when you walk into the Smart Center and you're looking around and there's a robot to greet you coming in, asking you what type of cookies you like. And there's, you know, um, these excited students sitting behind the desk saying, hey, you know, how are you doing today? Is there anything we can help you with? Then they're leading you back to this esports facility and there's lab where you're talking through all the different AI technologies. Dr. Melton has created something transformational. You know, when I walked in and that big sign was at the top of the esports lab saying powered by T-Mobile's 5G, I was in disbelief at the level of engagement that was happening in the room. The students were doing that. They were not only engaged in esport gaming, they were creating it. What, who, how did you even come up with that? Well, you have to remember, people are still kind of on the edge about video gaming. We take gaming to a whole innovation level. We even have the model, play to learn, learn to play. And through that natural gaming, we are able to connect. That's where the connectivity comes in. We are able to connect these students into all pathways in terms of computer science. How about education, healthcare, psychology? You have to be very innovative to look at how connectivity, how robotics can now transform over into workforce. Absolutely. And I think you're bringing to the fore, Robbie, there as well, about how we can do this beyond traditional STEM disciplines as well. And, and that's what we need, isn't it? That interdisciplinary thinking and working in teams, working across different geographies, different, different experiences, different patterns of thinking. I love that. I, I want to also just get that balance as well between technology and education working hand in hand, because I think that's what we're achieving here. And on that subject of curiosity as well, I get a lot of questions about that. And how can we kind of bring in a simple way the key benefits of 5G, Keisha, that's supporting this kind of pathway of innovation in higher education. We could distill that to the audience. I think that'd be fantastic because it's such a tangible one that affects every one of us, really. The power of education just transforms lives. So often when people hear 5G, they just think it's another new technology. It's like, yeah. okay, well, it's something that we use on my phone. <laughs> and if I have it, I get a better signal. Um, it's a little bigger than that. And I think what Tennessee State University is doing helps us to see why it's bigger and how it's bigger. Many schools simply just did not have the bandwidth before to support a robotics program, right? That needs that low latency, that needs like on-demand connectivity and movement across these different technologies. So now they're building drones across state lines. 
T-Mobile 5G is not just about faster speeds. It's a strategic equalizer across all these different campuses and projects and innovations that are happening. We're seeing rural schools, HBCUs, community colleges. They're suddenly able to do cloud-based robotics and have these labs and real-time simulations and collaborate remotely. These are things that were previously completely out of reach. So Tennessee State University Smart Center, students are working with peers hundreds of miles away to co-develop autonomous systems and program robots in real time. Like Blue can be programmed in real time to do different things and have different actions. That's exciting. Think about a third grader walking through that Smart Center. Dr. Milton, they're probably gonna wanna go to your school forever <laughs> and teach there and be a part of the innovation and create what's next. So I love that word creativity and the outcomes really speak for themselves. You know, we're seeing increased enrollment in STEM tracks across the board, more diverse participation, student-led projects, advancing to pitch competitions. We're doing those here in T-Mobile as well through our Peach Tree Corners projects. This is not just connection, it's transformation. This kind of connectivity doesn't just link campuses, it completely transforms what's possible for our kiddos. Um, and I, I say kiddos, even their adult kiddos, right? Especially, especially across our underserved communities. I am so excited to be a part of this work. Oh, I think that's amazing. And that, and that really shows across everybody. Honestly, that really, really shows. And I think the other thing, Keisha, as well, the power of collaboration, I think that's bringing to the fore as well. All that you're doing here, Robbie, and, and Keisha, collect collectively, this partnership is enabling that across, well, break, breaking down all those borders, frankly, isn't it? And it's so representative of where we're heading. You need to be able to do that. You need to be ambidextrous to change. You need that STEM and STEAM skill set to do that. And I think you're also helping to instill confidence too. Another C that I think is absolutely vital. Um, I'd love if you could both just share a kind of like a final experience about the differences is making where you see this collaboration going next this power of 5g technology and education and everything you're doing robbie bringing this together i'd love to see where you think this is going next our next step which i'm pleased to share with you will be our humanoid coming in again for students to be able to be part of the programming, the communication. Think of business, think of psychology of this. We are transforming education. With our partnership, we can make dreams our reality and we're ready to innovate for that workforce. Love that, love that. And, and Keisha, some final thoughts for you about where's next? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, innovating the workforce, we can just put a period on that. I mean, there's there's no better way to say the future is bright than talking about innovating the future workforce. Um, and, and students are depending on us to do that right now. You know, faculty and staff is depending on us to guide the way and take their feedback and integrate those things for us right now. So the collaboration that's happening with Tennessee State University shows that 5G doesn't just connect. It empowers, right? It empowers communities. It empowers um, smart campuses. It empowers smart cities, right? That, that campuses sit at the core of. For students, that translates to gaining direct exposure to collaborative industry-style workflows from day one. The bold step now is for industry and universities to build scalable 5G-enabled robotics labs. Why not? Like, that's where we are. Um, that It really helps to link learners across campuses and even time zones. That kind of access and interaction gives students the collaborative and technical fluency they'll need to drive automation careers. It opens real doors to economic success and economic drivers that have never been done before. Oh, I couldn't agree more with that. And it's that immersive nature of the learning, it's the accessibility of it, and the ability to scale these different types of learning environments as well and in real time. I think it's fantastic. And, and I think, Robbie, as you brought to the fore, particularly as well, being able to do this across disciplines now, you mentioned a few, but I think agriculture and the arts for me are particularly interesting ones because I'm doing quite a bit both in those at the moment. It is this partnership for empowerment, I think. I know we have to wrap it up, but both of you, I think we've really given a bit of a taster here about the power of collaboration between both of you, Tennis. State University and T-Mobile um, and I just say let, let's go for it what, what what can we do next and how can we share more about this because I know we're going to get stacks of questions because this is truly inspiring and it's um, the intention for change with the actualization of it coming hand in hand so thank you both it's been an absolute joy and let's keep this going thank you thank you so much Sally thank you Dr Milton and yes and life is good my pleasure thank you both thank you and thank you all for watching and tuning in thank you